hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen and creatures and things. And we are doing Pokemon Ultraviolet. Uh, hold on one second, I have to toggle the sound, I believe. Yeah, I think I had it mostly muted. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Oh, hold on. What did you do? I started my emulator with the controller unplugged because I'm an idiot. One second, guys. You broke it. This is the Mashiachosaurus everyone knows and loves. Incompetent. Yep. So we are back. We are playing Pokemon Ultra. Violet. It is a hack of Fire Red, and we have a whole bunch of Porkimangs that we can pick from to make our team. We have two boxes, and look at these guys. They're all leveled up. Oh, so nice. Uh, this guy will, Jasper will evolve uh, at his next level. Uh, so will Wismer. And the rest of these guys. Uh, I did not get uh, Walter the Slack off up because he's going to evolve as well. And while I was grinding, I caught this. I caught this guy here. He is a legitimate shiny. He's not from a shinyizer spot, um, so of course I grabbed him. Uh, and of course I wasn't streaming at the time, so I couldn't record it. But uh, I've caught him. I haven't done anything with him. He. I named him Doug Digga. He's uh, Doug Digadome, owner of the Digsdale Digadome. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're ready to go. Um, Oh, and uh, Panthor has an Orenberry for us. And uh, Chun-Li will evolve at her next level, and so will Fern. Um, and I've started working on Barbara G. Uh, she's actually uh, not terrible at the moment. Um, so we're going to head to the Rock Tunnel. There is some stuff that we can do on Route 11, which is uh, over to the... Uh, to the east of uh, whatever town it's Vermilion or whatever whichever one we're next to um, we could do some stuff over there oh, yeah, I did. but oh yeah we, we did accidentally do one trainer over there that was off camera he had so, an he so, yeah. so, sorry about that that was accidental um, but uh, we use yeah we could probably just do it with the versus seeker um Let's see here. Who do I want to take out of the party? I, I'm actually going to take Panthor out of the party. While his pickup is useful, uh, and he does have an, a berry, but I'll grab that later. His pickup is useful, but in red and blue, or fire red and leaf green, rather, uh, I've, I've checked the, the actual list of what he can get from... Uh, from pickup, and it's not very good. Um, basically, it's it's mostly berries. Um, okay. He can get uh, rare candies, PP ups. Those are nice, but they're very rare. And we've gotten several. So. And a couple of nuggets. Okay? Yeah, yeah, a couple of nuggets as well. But anyway, we can we can yeah. leave him out for right now. What? Yeah. Okay, you're talking. To Yes, I'm, I'm talking to Professor Oak's aid. I, I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> I was like, dig aid. Anyway, uh, did I meet the other aid? Uh, uh, yeah, okay, I, I talked to that guy. I, I already got the flash. That's, that's all he gives me. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get into a, a wild fight or two here and... want Shun Li to evolve. And I took out a uh, 
a slot from our party, and I did that for a reason. And if you know Pokemon, you probably know what that reason is. But if you're not familiar with Ninkata and its evolution, then uh, you're in for a surprise. Uh, this guy's got a unique evolution gimmick. And he's, this probably is not going to give us a level. Right here. Yeah, not even close. Okay. We're gonna go on the underground path. There is stuff we can grab on the underground path here, but it requires the item finder. We could get the item finder right now, but I'm just bypassing it at the moment. It's not super important. Um, so, we're gonna go back to Route 5 here. And... We're gonna go up back at Cerulean. And I'm going to heal at the Poke Center just so that this becomes like our teleport spot in case we need to teleport back. I don't know if we've got anybody that has teleport on our party right now, but... It's time for us to move on. And now that we have cut... Cut it. We're gonna head over this way. And we're gonna just cut again. Now there is grass up here, but there's no Pokemon that we haven't found yet. You're mine. Wow. I need a drink first. Okay. Oddish. Uh, ordinarily, Leech Life would be super effective. Uh, it's just going to be regular effective right now because uh, Poison resists Bug. But I just wanted to do one to test. Oddish is pretty tanky, but doesn't hurt you very bad, so I think Chun Li should be okay. If we can get Chun Li to hit more than twice with Fury Swipes. I don't like Fury Swipes. I don't like any of those hits random number of times moves. At least with Compound Eyes, which is Chun Li's ability, um, he hits more frequently because he, his accuracy is increased over normal, so he doesn't have to deal with missing half the time with it. And no, we're fine. Actually, we're probably not fine. Vine Whip, we're gonna... Bug resists grass, but we're also ground type, and ground is weak to grass, so we're neutral to it. Or it could just use poison powder. No, oh, that kind of sucks. These enemies are pretty friendly. Though. Okay. And yes, sadly, I am going to have to swap out. Um... Let's let Barber G have some experience. Barber G is poison type. She can't be poisoned. And while she's not real strong with... Bite, she... Can do reliable damage at least. She's also close to evolving. Stun Spore kind of sucks, but you know, I've dealt with worse.
Come on. Full health. So that's not bad. And we can deal with Bells Pro. We double resist grass, so. Unfortunately, uh, Bite is special in this generation, and Zubat does not have a very good special. Uh, it's pretty much all about the physical attacks with Zubat, so. I mean, that's just Pokemon logic for you. Do I have Healy stuff? I've got three antidotes and two paralyzed heals. Okay. Good enough. Aerial Ace. Hey, that's actually a good move for, uh, for Barbara G. I think she learns it on her own, but uh, I'm just curious. Yeah, she can learn it. Fern can learn it. Chun-Li can learn it, which will help after evolution. And Shading, but uh, I'm not wasting that Shading. So if you want me to put uh, Aerial Ace on her, let me know. We, we've got a bunch of other uh, TMs. Brick Break is pretty good, Shockwave is pretty decent, Aerial Ace is decent, and Secret Power is decent. Um, and Thief. Uh, we'll want Thief on something at some point. Um, most of those, though, uh, we can't easily replace, so, you know, bear that in mind. They're one-time use in Gen 3. But yeah, like, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's real Pokemon logic that Bite is a special move and Shadow Ball is physical. Just an hour or so to whittle down his health. Come on, guys. Getting close. Uh, yeah, against an Onyx, we do not stand a chance. Onyx has crazy high defense and is very fast, but he's got nothing else worth talking about, and he's double weak to grass, so Fern should be able to gas here at the one shot. Oh, there's a level. Yeah, we can place something for pursuit. Uh, let's see, we got quick attack and pound. We don't need both. We can place pound. Oh wait, I'm out of Pokemon. Fern is evolving. Oh, one second, guys. I completely forgot. I never updated my 
Twitch status for uh. Oh, let's see. Hold on one second here. Okay, well... There. My go live probably looked a little goofy, but uh, whatever. Go file. Sure, yeah, delete something. Fury Cutter. So, Fury Cutter is a really weak attack. It, it was bumped up in later gens, but it gets stronger each time that it hits. Um. You know, uh, Pursuit isn't actually that great. I'm just going to replace that. Okay. So, let's see here. I don't know what he's considered. He might be considered a forest. Check the forest Pokemon first. Okay, obviously not. So, must be grassland. Let's see here. Okay. Weird, hold on. Okay, he is concerned for us. There we go. Its strongly developed thigh mus muscles give it astounding agility and jumping performance. So, that's Grovile. Okay, he looks so handsome. Alright. So, there's our first evolution of the night, but won't be our last. Alright, now I do want to head up here real quick. Good looking Pokemon. Please stay away from my Pokemon here. This is like strange for me. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we are not great against fire. We're neutral against it, but I'd feel safer with something that's uh, neutral and has more ability to take a hit. And of course, we burn. Burn is kind of like poison, but it also cuts the damage of our physical attacks. Okay, Charmander. Well, okay, I guess, uh... chun -Li, you're gonna have to... Tank this for us here. Ooh, and it's a higher level than us. Oh, that's bad. Maybe not. Ah. Who 
move. I thought we would have been neutral. I was hoping would not ever faint. That's okay. Keep walking. Well, I think. After that disastrous display, we better retreat. We were just not prepared for fire types. That was really rough. That's okay, though. And Barbara G, she should be okay. Fainting only gives you a minus one to happiness, and leveling up gives you like a plus three. So, she should still be a net gain once she levels up. So, let's run back up there. And try this again. Bug catcher here. He's probably got fully evolved bugs. Beedrill, yep. Synergy. Now you may notice that I've got Sand Attack, but I almost never use it. I, I just find using Accuracy Spam like that to be a really cheap way of winning. So I'll use it if I feel like I need to, but I'll usually try to win without it. Come on, Chun Li. Barely pulled it off. And there's the love. Cool. Another B drill, eh? I wish Supersonic had an accuracy of more than crap. Yeah. One more attempt. This doesn't work. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? reluctant to set Pete out because if it had Twin Needle, Twin Needle is super effective against Psychic, but whatever. We got Chun-Li to evolve. I can't believe that he hit three critical hits out of four.
there we go. Ninjask. And try to learn Screech. Yeah, you can learn Screech. Uh, uh, yeah, you don't... You don't need my leader. I mean, you probably do, actually. Mind Reader is really good when combined with, say, a Fissure or Horn Drill or something. Double Team is nice. And let's swap Leech Life for Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter, uh, I think I already explained is weak, but it grows in power every time it hits. So... Here's the gimmick of Ninkeda, if you are not aware. When you evolve Ninkeda, if you have an empty spot in your party, you will get a Shedinja. Which you can. Yeah. You can, but you gotta take the name later. Right? Um, so... Uh, and here's the thing. Shedinja has an ability called Wonder Guard. This makes it so that only attacks that are super effective can hit you. However, look at that HP. One. That will never go up. We have one hit point forever with Shedinja. So, only things that are super effective... Now, it's Bug Ghost, so that means Ghost, Dark... Fire, um, thinking here, rock, flying, I think that's everything, uh, those attacks will hit us, and will KO us instantly. We can also be hit by weather effects like hail, or we can be poisoned, but aside from that, nothing can hurt us. So that's a fun gimmick to play around with. And I just wanted that ether really badly because it's actually kind of hard to get them. You can't buy them and they are in limited supply. Ninjask is actually pretty cool too. Um, he's bug flying instead of bug ground like Ninkata. And his ability, Speed Boost, makes his speed go up every turn that he's in battle. So he constantly is getting faster and faster, and he's already a pretty speedy Pokémon. So he will outspeed most enemies most of the time. So that's pretty cool. But, now that we have that... I don't think there's anything else up there that we can get, and I don't think there's anything down here. Well, there is, but for now, we're gonna go up here. We'll fight this bug catcher. Caterpie. So, Caterpie, you'll see here. Caterpie will not hit us. I mean, he'll, he can use String Shot, but he, he will not be able to hurt us at all. Like, we automatically win this fight. You can slow me down as much as you want, buddy. He's not even attempting to tackle because I'm Ghost type and he knows he can't hurt me. Venonat. This is a new bug type. I don't think Venonat can learn anything that's super effective against us. Supersonic is bad, though, because if we hit ourselves in confusion, we'll take ourselves out. So... Let's go ahead and let your older brother, older sister, handle this. Just to be poisoned. Just to be immediately poisoned.
Yeah, you figured out who I am. Well, my speed just went up. Weedle, eh? This should be completely safe for Barbara. Weedle's got Poison Sting, which will do garbage damage and uh, won't have any chance of poisoning us, so... I'm just using Astonish for shits and giggles. Taking the rock tunnel, why are you over here? Rattata might be able to learn fight. Or pursuit or something like that. I don't know. Oh, you withdrew him. Ekans definitely at not level 19 has, but. Yeah, it's, that's a good idea. Switch, switch up to the weaker attack. Good girl, Barbara G. Let's uh let's put shit into back on the front lines. That's uh one of the rare times that I've seen an opponent actually switch out. Uh, don't lower my defense on my Pokemon that if you hit me at all, you kill me. Like, seriously, like, defense drops mean nothing to us. Sandshrew only has moves that are not effective. Fury Cutter is getting very strong. Shedinja is not really something that I think is, is, like, super great to use all the time. But against the right... in the right situations, it is... great. Yeah, you can't measure up, because I have a ghost Pokemon you've never even seen. Yeah, I killed you. Chesto Berry there. Uh, we need to heal somebody. 
Yeah, Barbara Chief. Yeah, I'll, I'll just... I gotta take good care of my little Batgirl. I actually like to see that. She's not very good, but I, I like her. I'm gonna swap in Fern on the assumption that this is gonna be a, a hiker who uses maybe rock type. He might use fighting instead. Nope, Geodude. Hey, Geodude, get fucked. Look at Fern being all smug there. But fuck yeah, I did that to you. Yep, just eat him. Yeah, good idea. Like, use Mud Sport so that I don't use electric attacks. Sure. Pursuit again? No, you've already learned Pursuit. Nah, we can we can deal with it. Don't remember how fighting... Yeah, fighting is this one. Okay. Okay. Mm, let's... Seismic Toss always does exactly the Pokemon's level in damage, so... What's that? That was the sound of me kicking your ass. Okay. Ah, a rare thing. And, um, what do I have on my lead? Firm. Switching Barbara for a bit. Don't patronize me. Hit that was. And we know for a fact that he's got a dark room because he's using fight on. Hey, a level for Barker G. Ooh, wing attack. Yes, please. Please delete one of these terrible moves for wing attack. I guess each life is the most terrible. You're too much, T. I am obviously talented. That's what I tell him. Alright. So, this is Route 10, uh, and this is a whole new area, and before we do anything here, uh, yeah, I know, I, I do. Great. Good advice.
Yes, I have actually. Yeah. Yay, an Everstone. That just makes it so that Pokemon don't evolve. Okay. Now, before we proceed onward, I want to go back. I think there was one more trainer in the message. Plus, there are actually... And a burn heal. Bring it on! There are actually, uh, there is a new Pokemon to be found on Route 10. Slurp. No, I can take it. Uh, whoops. I did not mean to do quick attack. Oh, that was a mistake. I mean, not that I'm afraid of anything that Onyx can do to me. Okay. Now let's run back. My cat is uh, making things difficult on my wife, as she usually does. So, Route 10 here, we do actually have one new Pokemon that we can catch. Used to be two. actually have a great team for fighting the spirit versus but that's okay. Flying doesn't resist flying. need to get one new Pokemon in here. Used to be two. Uh, used to be able to get Magnemite on this route. But they've changed it. Um, you know, we might be able to do this with just Creep Attack. They've changed it because Magnemite is Steel-type now. And if you were able to get it on this route, uh, then... Uh, Jesus, Spiro, come on. I've been having really terrible RNG luck to get this game. It used to be, it, like, if you got a Steel type before going to Koga's gym. Oh, here we go. Voltorb. This is what we need. If you could get a Steel type before going to Koga's gym. Then you could get uh, you could go in there with a Pokemon that is 100% immune to everything that Koga can do. So obviously that was considered a bad thing. 
So they changed it. Now, to get your uh, to get your Magnemite, you have to go to the power plant. To get to the power plant, you need Surf, and to get Surf, you have to beat Koga's gym. So here we go, Voltor. Not a great electric type, but another electric type to add to our repertoire. A life form whose identity is unknown. It is said to screech or suddenly self-destruct. Yeah, boy. These things love self-destruct. So... Male or female? Voltorb has no gender. We are going to name it... Katie Kaboom. Uh, There's probably, like, a person out there who knows what that's in reference to. Okay. Man, I wish you had a little more space. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. Alright. We're gonna need to have a different crew for tackling uh, the rock tunnel here. I want you, Palm Town. Tyson the Mangy. We'll take you. And actually having one grass type is not a bad idea. So I think that's I think that's a decent party. Especially since we need Chiding for the TMs and a person berry. All of these trees Sounds are. Human. All these trees are. Ooh, by the way. <laughs> are cuttable. There's a hidden super potion behind that one. Uh, you can cut these to bypass this trainer, but obviously we're gonna fight him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm over here, Ash. Okay. Hi. Pikachu. You're gonna you're gonna go to Pound Town, Pikachu. Yep, double team. You can uh, you can double team all you'd like, Pikachu, but uh, I just have to hit you once. Hey, way to go, fire. Clefairy. Mm, sure, Tyson, you can, you can take this one. Fairy type doesn't exist, so Clefairy is just straight normal. Yeah, you definitely want to encore that. That, that's what I would do. Oh yeah, follow me. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, now my next attack will hit you instead of the air, I guess. <laughs> instead of missing? That would be interesting. Yeah, sadly it doesn't actually do that. It just makes it so that you have to target them instead of another opponent. But there literally is no other opponent. And Cherry Berry... All right, so this is the only way to get to Lavender Town because there is a blockage uh, in the form of the Snorlax. Uh, if you don't have Flash, you can actually get through here, but Flash makes it much, much easier. You can get through here. 
can see what you're doing. Yeah. And there's going to be a lot of Geodudes in here. And there are two new Pokemon in the Rock Tunnel, but I'm going to wait and I'm not going to catch them until near the end for reasons. Hell, it might come in handy if I start running more power points for Absorb. Barbara G, you can probably handle all the Zubats in here, they're weak as shit. Uh, no offense. Pokemon fight! Uh... Why are you... Are you a... A Pokemon furry? Well, whatever. You're ground type, so... You know. Yes, I am. No. Oh. oh. He didn't die instantly. Ooh. That kind of sucked. Well, he is like five levels above us. Four. And a prey. Slowpoke. Oh, no. Light is actually super effective against Slowpoke because he's second. Time. I might have forgotten to pick up a Slowpoke from. Uh... What other location? Check in there real quick while I... Use it on the one that's asleep, you stupid. No, no, not the bad. Come on. Retreat real quick. Forgot he had that move. And that fern is not poison type. It's okay, Tom Tom will make sure. Okay. 
It's actually faster to run around them to, than to let the animation play. But, quick heal. I should consider somebody that's got dig. Fern can use the experience anyways. All of these rocks can be smashed with Rock Smash, but uh, we don't have that move. I drill easy strength from the Pokemon when you... Oh... Absorb is also super effective against Slowpoke because he is water type. Not very good, though. Oh, but Fury Cutter's bug type. If I can, uh, outlast him for a few times, and the Fury Cutter will start doing some real damage. Ah, there you go. Fern lost some health, but he should be able to get that back in the first random Geodude he runs into. Or she. I'm exhausted! Don't. Me? What did I. Don't help me. Oh, okay. This is a dead end, but I think that there's an item over here. I have no less. Those are pretty hard to come by. As before, we'll let Barber G handle the Zubats. One of the two new ones that uh, we are eventually going to catch in here, but I'm not going to do that uh, until we're close to the exit. So for right now, we'll just check. Mm. 
Yeah, battle. Sleep powder. No, this actually is probably a, a job for a poison flying pet. Of course. Oh, we can deal with Bulbasaur. We double resist grass. Didn't really bad paralysis luck, though. Are you kidding? There. Sheesh. Yeah, you lost. Okay, uh, what do I have to fix paralysis? I do have one more paralyzed heal. After that, I'll be down to berries. That's okay, I do have several berries from pickup. Okay. Onward! This one. You know about Pokemon Cosmo. No, but I got a feeling you're gonna talk to me at length about it. Let's see how Cubone can deal with flying types that are immune to ground. The answer is he deals surprisingly well with them. Um, 
Okay. Interesting. Hiker. Well, that was thrilling. Screech is just strictly an upgrade to leader, so... Oh, Barbara G is evolving! Golbat is possibly the ugliest Gen 1 Pokémon. And that is saying something. 
I like his goofy little legs. Okay. Let's go ahead here. Zubat. It clamps down in its prey with needle sharp fangs and drains over 10 ounces of blood in one gulp. And it does this despite the fact that we had it forget it actually. Another potion. This guy is not kidding. We're only about a third of the way through the rock tunnel. Here. Maybe a little more. Certainly, though, we have a lot. This guy's just bringing us a whole big buffet here, isn't it? Starting to run low on absorbs. That's okay though, because we still have. We still have magnitude, and we still have. Magnitude and the karate chop. Those are also super effective against them. can put the squeeze on I'm lost in here. Hey, dude, you started this fight with me. Yeah, Snorlax will do that. Just let me grab it. Pound Town. 
You're becoming a big boy. Normally, Graveler is a trade evolution to get him to evolve into Golem. In Ultraviolet, it is level evolution, so we just gotta keep leveling him and he'll eventually evolve again. I don't remember off the top of my head how high we have to get him. That escape rope is looking mighty, mighty handy. Just for the power bump of this version, I'm fine. But if it's necessary, Traveler, you've got one of those now. Oh, I've got to show you the uh, deck entry. I'm talented enough to hike. I would certainly hope so. I wouldn't think that that would require a lot of talent at all. Really? They don't consider it a cave Pokemon? I guess it's a mountain Pokemon. Be careful while hiking on mountain trails. Graveler may come rolling down the path without slowing. That sounds disturbingly fatal. Okay, now we're back down here. And... I don't know if there's anything up here. Mankey, eh? We have our own Mankey. Very much. Some smashable rocks. Bend twigs as trail markers. It's helpful. We're in a cave. Jiggly proof, eh?
pigeon. Swap into Gone Town. I want to go home. We all do. Okay, this guy, this kid right here, will teach one of our Pokemon Rock Slide. Um, could do that for our Graveler, but I'm not sure off the top of my head who I want to teach it to. So I'm not going to teach it to anybody just yet. Okay. tunnel is a slog. absorb. Strategic genius, folks.
I go for power because I hate thinking. Don't we all, buddy? Don't we all. Yeah, well, you can't have it. This one's mine. Get your own Pokédex. Cooper! You're abandoning the base! Okay, so... I guess we can Barbara G have it. Drowsy. The New York Post is stupid. Let yours flop. It's not Hollywood World Peace. It's hyperinflation, the price of gas prices, and we need to save that money to eat. Nobody's going to the theater because it costs too much. They're just going to stay home and wait till it comes out on Disney Plus and watch it there. Yes. Wow, are you guys dumb? That's nothing to do with world peace. Oh, I really wish I could just send these people a strong word letter and tell them to actually, like, do things. No, you don't understand. Like, there's like a girl on girl kiss for like less than a second on screen. I don't even think they like, kiss. The no, they do. I've seen. I've seen the clip. It's they, they like give each they, they give each other a peck. It's, oh wow! Yeah, it's it, it's like less than a second of screen time. Oh. It's like clearly that's what's. You know what's odd? The movie. It didn't destroy Polly Shore's career when he was in a movie where two girls kissed, and they did full on tongue kissing. Yeah, I, I, it's stupid. It's just, white boy need to complain about white boy shit. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you're watching this years after Lightyear came out and you don't even remember that that was a controversy and, like, that... Uh, we'll all be dead in 80 years. Enjoy it while it lasts. I can't have my Pokedex when I finish it. Okay. Home stretch, guys. Home stretch. How come we hadn't gotten that gamma boost we had promised? We just have that weird sunspot that's gonna be able to help freak him for a while. I mean, that's kind of like a gamma boost. No, it's not! It only affects radio waves. I only affect radio waves. This little plane might go down, but I doubt it. It's been a while since we've had to draw you, drag you out, Pete. You know, we need to pull on the chair and That'll work this type of shit. Okay. That's fine. I can do it with three times. Okay. I do have one Hyper Potion, I don't want to spend that here. Was weak. I do have one Super Potion, I guess I can use that. Don't you have any berries? I do have berries, but uh... Really? Yeah. They only... the berries only do 10 at a time, and I'd have to like, just burn through a ton of them. 
I understand. You want to say hello, or you can stand outside the door now. Did you, eh? Surprise, bitch. Hey, Mephres. No, I won't change that for my Tata. Definitely gonna have to stock up on blue bags next time I get a shot. Okay, Bell Sprout. I play hard. All right. So, in a line running from this corner to the bottom corner in the lower left, there is a line of shiny eyes or spots. I will... First of all, I will open this up and let's... Paralysis... Sleep... Poison. Burn. I do have 17 more in there, so that's that's good. Let's just slowly give him a ton of them. So, this line from right here to right down here, there's a row of shiny eyes spots. You cannot avoid them. And of course, that means that the next encounter will be a shiny. It's just amazing. That's okay, though. Pearl. So many encounters in this cave. I'm actually thinking that I'm going to uh, press onward. Because I'm running out of power points for everybody and I'm almost out of healing items. I'm down to, like, my berry supply. So, let's just do this kicking through.
does one after another, one shot at everything. I looked cute and harmless, but was a- <laughs> Wait, 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 are you saying I'm not cute? I'm just as god me. Exit is down south, but I just wanted to check and see if there's anything else. So, there is not. Couple more trainers. Not too many, fortunately. Man, I'm glad I talked about this. Clark, let's just get this over with. Really starting to feel the fatigue of the rock tunnel trek. That's kind of a cute game, or a cute joke. Uh, more of you guys? I drew Trent sent out an Onyx. Wow, 
want to see your Pokemon. I actually do not. I want to go to the, the town. Herman. That's a critical one. I'm probably safe. Barbergy, you have finally grown up into a good thing. How you doing, Nate? Okay. Finally. Take my Pokemon, heal me up. And before we do anything in Lavender Town with the creepy music, we're gonna go back to that golden cave. Us. Uh, one of these. But we're gonna get a shiny. And a shiny object. If we're on the line or not, we are, but it's an IP. I'm letting Barbara take him because she can one shot him, and I want her to, her to hit the next level because she might evolve. If, if her happiness is high enough, and I suspect that it is, even the, despite the fact that she fainted twice. I think she will evolve on the level up. So we're just gonna run back and forth across this line here. Uh he's shiny. He's shiny. He looks a bit urban. Okay now. Oh man, that was a perfect hit, Tyson. You have to call this one. I feel like that's more racist than the joke that I have. No, he just turned out to be really buff and awesome. Like Mr. T. I mean, that's true. Plus, I mean, no offense. Name any really muscular white guy that would be this awesome. Oh, you can't, because you're Martin. Enough said. Besides, Mr. T is awesome. I, I never said that he wasn't. I never said that he wasn't. You got to name him Mr. T. Okay. Machop. Its whole body is composed of muscles. Even though it's the size of a human child, it can hurl 100 grown-ups. I feel 100 adults would have been better. Hmm. 
and day. One more to catch, and then we can get the flock out of here and never come back. Oof, Zubat, what did they do to you? Hey, Tyson, just put this thing out of its misery. Not a fan of Shiny Zubat, so kind of glad that we didn't get one. Although it probably looks good as a Crobat. Shiny Geodude looks nice. Kind of, kind of like a gold nugget. That's cool. I'm into it. Yeah, we don't, we don't need a second. Shiny. If it was a legitimate shiny and not from a shiny eyeser spot, but like shiny eyeser spot ones, we can just like they'll just keep spawning. So. Now, unfortunately, Onyx is kind of a rare encounter, but he's no more rare than the shop. So. And we've already encountered several opponents, as we've been going to do, so. Come on, Onyx. Give me Onyx. Mankey is kind of like an Onyx, but monkey-shaped instead of snake-shaped, and made of meat instead of rock. It's really not very much like an onyx. I usually am. Oh, Barber G, you're so close to level up. Last one survived long enough to lose magnitude, but I don't want that to happen. Looks like I've got no choice. Whatever. Should at least get to the level. Barbage is evolving. Fantastic.
So at this point, uh, we actually have a good Pokemon. Like, Zubat is not good. Golbat is okay. Crobat is actually good. Can I... Oh, uh, if I hit my right button, I can do that. Inner focus prevents, prevents flinching. Speed of 71. Attack 51. Blah, blah, blah. Still the same moves, but with that speed... She's gonna go first almost every time. Zubat has crazy cuts. And she's pretty beefy. For this thing. If you were playing regular Fire Red, you would not actually be able to get Crobat because the game would just prevent it from evolving until you've beaten the Elite Four. But... No such restrictions here in Ultraviolet. We can just evolve it. They do that in Fire Red and Leaf Green to prevent you from getting access to... evolutions from Gens 2 or 3 that might give you an advantage over what the design of uh, Red and Blue intend. Uh, most notably, uh, to prevent you from being able to evolve uh, uh, Eevee into an Umbreon. Which actually you can't do in Fire Red or Leaf Green at all, because there's no day-night cycle, and it's happiness during the night. In Ultraviolet, it's just a moonstone. Umbreon would be crazy broken in Fire Red because uh, one of the gyms is psychic and they they really do not intend for you to do a psychic gym with a dark type. Come on, Onyx are everywhere until you need to find one, then they're nowhere. brag on the playground to my friends. Uh, in this hypothetical situation, uh, Mashi is pretending that he has friends. So, Seismic Toss. This does damage equal to your level. Um, I'm not sure that it's a great move to have. I guess I'll replace Focus Energy for now, because I haven't been using it much. I mean, it's nice to be able to do consistent damage. Like, it helps when an opponent is spamming, like... attack down status moves, but it's not really that great. 26 damage isn't thrilling at this level, and it's only going to get worse. I'll probably change it out next time he learns a new move. All these Zubats...
Come on. Shiny axe? No, a second shiny mashup. And Machop is actually worse, stats-wise, than Mankey is. The evolved forms of Machop obviously are better, but the base form is worse. Just Lonex. Seriously, we're getting, like, all these rare encounters, and they're all stuff we don't want. And unfortunately, there's nowhere else in the game to get an Onyx. So, it's not something where I can be like, well, we'll come back to it later. Uh, we really don't ever come back to the rock tunnel. Have you ever really run into the rocks? In this cave, yes. Since we came back in here, no. Okay. Like, we've, we've encountered several wild ones, but, like, none since coming back here. Another Machop. This one's a girl. The funny thing is that uh, I'm pretty sure that the encounters we had were up on the first floor, where Onyx is actually rarer. He'll spawn eventually. I mean, I guess if we really have to, we can come back, because we will be com coming back to uh, Lavender Town. Uh, yeah. And we can keep trying for a little bit. Unless you're getting bored. Give it five more. Five more. I'll, I'll, give, it, I'll give it a few more. I, I have... A ridiculously large patience for this ever since grinding like however many Pokemon we have up to level 20. Especially Skitty, which type ever? Oh my god, Skitty was so terrible to grind up. Skitty is so weak. I don't know if we got one that's just got bad stats or if it's just that Skitty is just naturally that way, but he was just an absolute. How are we missing this off this much? That's more misses than we had in our entire trip through the rock tunnel. The game has decided that the only thing I need to see in this tunnel is Zubat. Burned through all of my power points for Rock Two. I'm starting to burn through my points for Rock Throw.
God, are you kidding me? It's just too bad after too bad after too bad. Traps that are supposed to be super rare, but like you encounter tons of them. Dude, I mean, that's, that's the right typing. At least Mank is getting some much needed experience. I don't think I ever want to see another Zubat fight again.
Tyson's gonna end up evolving before he finds stupid shiny onyx. It's not even a good Pokemon. It's not even good even after it evolves. Well, I mean, sort of. Steelix is pretty open. Still has the problem of being all defense with very limited offense. Steelix is much better though. Oh, that's all. I'll grant it that. Onyx is pretty much just like it's just tough. Defensively, and he's got high speed, and then he's got nothing else going for him. He can't even capitalize on his relatively high speed or er, uh, high defense that well because he has really low hit points. All right. Countdown gains another level, or runs out of rock throw, then that's it. I'll come back here after. Come back later. I guess I could. Tyson's so high a level now that it's not even that great. It's Passed up like four of them coming in here, and now the game is just like, nope, I'm not gonna do any of them. Actually, I wonder. If changing out my lead will make any difference. Sometimes Some, it does. Sometimes it does. Usually, though, it's because of abilities, like... Uh, well, we can always come back. Yeah. Even uh, come back, like, off-screen. I could do that. We do have to come back to... Lavender Town. There's nothing we can do in Lavender Town right now. We have to move past it. So, like, I don't know. Another couple minutes here, and if I still haven't found it, then. I'll be honest, like, Onyx is mostly a dex entry for me. I never use it seriously. I mean, I suppose I could. But it's not that great of a Pokemon, and... I mean... There's, there's already a better rock ground Pokemon that's defensively very strong in the game, and we already have him. <laughs> so... Oh, and here I 
was worried about possibly making it as far as Erica's gym. <laughs> That's not happening tonight. There's no way we'll get through all that. We're gonna be lucky if we make it to sell it all. This might be a bad idea, I found out it's pretty slow. Then again, he's level 25. Or she, I'm not sure. Okay, I see you continue. Yeah, it's... I, it's quarter to ten. Yeah. One more, and just one more fight. Just like, this is kind of getting your helpful. Well, we'll just come back to get Onyx on our return to Lavender later. So, let's explore Lavender now. First, let's seal up our guys. This place is famous for... the creepy music. I actually love the music There's not a lot we can do here. The name raider will allow us to change the nicknames of any of our Pokemon. We might use that to give a name to our Shedinja. Let's head over to the Pokemart. Definitely need healing items. Okay. Can't buy regular Pokeballs? Rip off. And you can't buy regular potions either. That's pretty lame, honestly, because uh, super potions are way more than what I need. But yeah. whatever, I'll spend seven grand on them. So the equipment will play. 70 cents. <laughs> yeah, <basically. laughs> And let's see. Pearl. We got some PP ups from uh, Panthor through 
pickup. That was pretty cool. Stardust. Yep. And four nuggets. 20 grand? Not bad. Okay. All right. Actually, no, I, I do want to swap out some of my Pokemon here. Okay, uh, let's see here. I want another Reno. Uh, hate to do it to you, Barbara, but uh, she's leveled up. She's good. You're, you're pretty good for right now. Although it would be a good idea to level up some uh, flying types. This is Route 8. What's a cute, fluffy Pokemon? Like, are you asking for a specific one, or are you just asking, like, what the definition is? By the way, you can't go south out of uh, Lavender. If you try, the path is blocked off by the Sleeping Snarlax, so you have to go this direction. Oh, did you slap me? That was probably a bad move, wasn't it? I'm so glad the CG doesn't understand how useless following this game it doesn't have multiple <laughs> outside of a double battle, it literally doesn't. Just let me hit you. Yeah, like that. Don't be so mean to my good fairy. Yes, it's definitely true, idiot. I'm a rambling gaming dude. You smell pretty. Da 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 da. 
grow life. I know what you need to go with. You need a trip to Pound Town. Pound Town still has tech. And Vulpix as well? These are the next two Pokemon that we're going to be picking up. By the way, they can be found on this route, but we're not going to grab them here. We're going to grab them somewhere else. For reasons. Okay. Super nerd glam. Oh right, Grimer can be balanced. Uh Pete, just eat this guy. Sooner would be better for you. <coughs> Fine. Since I'm not a cheap fuck, I will instead spam. Call Mind to buff my attack and defense. Alright, I guess I will This guy's gonna kill me.
no, it's not very effective. Okay. Probably gonna miss a lot, but I think if I can just hit once or twice with magnitude. Ugh, there. That was an annoying battle. That was only his first. Okay. Well, that went a lot better. Opponents that use accuracy spam or evasion. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's unfair, but it's a very cheesy and annoying tactic. Doubles battle? Looks like it. I think that's our first one. Twins Ellie and Anne would like to battle. Cleft Fairy and Jim Speaking of that, there's How did that, uh, follow me work out for you, though? Although at least she was using it in a doubles battle where it does something. You do look silly standing there like that. Yeah, yeah, I think that's quite a silly thing.
Hey, Pound Town, your maximum HP is the sex number. Okay, I know Rock Thrower is not 100 accuracy, but like, after a single sand attack, you should still be able to get okay. idiots keep getting in close and touching me. Or an attack. Definitely better than It's also better than Poison Sting, but... Eh, yeah, I'll just... I'll... Pukashu? Yeah, I beat him up. Okay, so now that Elvis has hit level 22, he is actually at the perfect level to do this. Normally, you want to wait until they've learned all the moves you want them to have. Or at least until you have a move set you're happy with. But these guys want to do it a little bit. Because at this level he will also learn Thrash. And we can replace Peck with Thrash. It is recognized by its rock-hard hide and its extended horn. Be careful with the horn, as it contains venom. So yeah, he's a much more buff Elvis now. Poison Ground. Still has the Poison Point ability. Stats are pretty solid on Let's actually wait. 
and swapping to a Nexus. We were going to one level to evolve. Meow, this is cute. Meow, meow. What are you, Andrea a Pussycat? Last Andrea Doria sent out me off. Oof. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna run away and heal real quick. gone through here yet, but there are a couple of hidden berries. Is there any shiny eyes or spot? No, there's no shiny spot in this route, which is why I'm not going to be using this route to catch Pokemon. Even though there are new Pokemon on this route. Yeah. We can get Growlithe and Vulpix here, but we're not going to. I like Nidoran, so I collect them. You know what I collect? Oof. Super effective bites, apparently. I was done with it. is very stupid. Why? Because I'm better than oh. Super Nerd Leslie.
Stick with school. Okay. Running back. Again. To deal. Okay. There's another trainer down here. Yeah. Biker Jaren? What kind of a name is Jaren? Sounds like Superman's father or something. my spam of course. Of course that was poison. Of course. Evolving. Teleport away. We'll heal my poison. Alright, let's look at that Pokedex entry. Loudred, when it stamps its feet and bellows, it generates ultrasonic waves that can blow apart a house. That is impressive.
Jeez. My bike's acting up, man. Yeah. Cargo. this Coughing have levitate and I can't hit him with a groan move. And psychic is their only other weakness. Well, steel, but. Yes. I will switch out. That is not the strategy I would have gone with, guys. Just see. So you know. You got grass in your spokes. You're you're riding a motorcycle. Yes, I want to teleport back to the healing spot, because I got poison yet again. That's annoying. We're almost done with this stupid route. And now that I remember that I have a bite... Guys, yes, it's true. How is your chemistry grade? Okay. Electric is not good for flying. Voltorb, you had one job. Really getting tired of seeing you cough.
Magnemite probably does not have Levitate. Magnemite can have Levitate, but I don't think he can in this generation. With Levitate, he's pretty tough. Alright, this is the last trainer. Polywag, more like Polly Swag. Don't, don't hit. Me. Just die like no one. No, oh, hey Luna. Wasn't sure if you would show up. Uh, well, no problem, but it's, it's always great to have you guys around. Uh, let's see. Boomer, you need to take it from here. We had water gun, but using bubble. What? So, we can't go through there, because it's blocked off. The guard won't let you through. Oh, yeah, shit, I go to the department store in Celadon every day. So, this is the other underground path. It runs from Lavender to Celadon. Celadon is huge. Uh, no, 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 no. So, we're gonna grab this. We pair Barry. We're gonna come back here real quick. This is Celadon City, and there's a lot to do here. But, I'm gonna try to make this as fast as possible, because we're nearing the end of the stream, and I really want to catch the next two Pokémon that we're gonna be adding to our team. Catch I will. This right here is the shiny eyes spot, right behind the sign. And what we're looking for, not a shiny Pidgey. Although you are a good source of vitamin X.
a little ridiculous the path I have to take to, to re-hit that spot each time. Oh, shiny bells felt looks cool. Too bad we already have a victory bell. If you were naturally generated, it'd be different. So, want relatively full picks, which have a low chance of appearing. Halo needs experience to evolve it. Hopefully this doesn't turn into another Onyx situation. Shiny Growlithe. Now I just gotta catch it and not kill it. Oh, sweet! Dear Lord Robin, you nearly made me have a heart attack, but uh, it worked out. And this is the one that I really want. Like, I can live without a Shiny Bolt. The shiny growlith because it looks awesome. And growlith's very friendly and faithful to people. It will try to repel enemies by barking and biting. Oh, so he acts like Sterling. Yes. So we will call him. Uh... <laughs> Old Yellow, <laughs> because he's calling cover. <laughs> Horrible. Old Yeller. <laughs> I'm kind of horrible. Okay. That's one. Sterling. I hear your claws in my pouch again. Ugh. Gotta make a quick trip through the Poke Center. Oh, hey, here's our evolution.
Shiny Oddish, which I'm really fond of, but we already have two Oddishes. Two blooms, actually. If anybody wants me to replace like any of our non shinies with shiny versions, just let me know. My my natural inclination is to only do it if I find a natural shiny that isn't spawned by a shiny eyes or spot, because the shiny eyes ones you can always just find another one. My feelings on shinies are they're cool but most of them are I mean, some of them are really, really good looking, and some of them are not so much, especially the gem one. But, whatever. I really just want... ...that shiny... We are not ready for the next jump yet. Like, not even close. But there's so much to do. Actually, the shiny female on the female will Actually, it's Just need the Vulpix, guys, come on. The next tier is Grass type, and ordinarily that wouldn't be a problem. Grass has a lot of weaknesses, but um, one of the weaknesses is Ice which we have no ice types. We might be able to get a TM for Ice Beam or Blizzard, but I'm not sure. Yeah, hopefully. Um, also, most of Erica's uh, Grass-type Pokémon are also Poison-type because Gen 1. So, uh, Poison and Bug, which are normally super effective against Grass, uh, are only neutral effective against her. Which really just leaves us with Fire and Flying. And because they are part Poison Psychic, uh, Ground is neutral because Grass resists Ground. So basically, a firefighting team is what we're going to be creating. Or a firefighting psychic team. Or a fire flying psychic team. Fighting is not good because poison resists fight for some reason. I'm sure it made sense to the developers when they were putting this shit together.
this is the story of this stream tonight, it's just like... I'm wanting that one Pokémon in that one area, and just consistently not fighting. I'm going to continue to try for a little bit, but if I don't find it, like, I might have to catch it off camera. This is a good place to grind up fire types, too, because of the constant grass type. This is the first time we've really had access to grass or to fire types. Uh, we have a Numel, but Numel's part ground. Ground is weak to grass, so that makes it only neutral to grass, which is neutral to most of what Erica's gonna throw at us. Her Pokemon are close to level 30, though, so we've got a lot of. We could also do the Rocket Game Corner <coughs> before we do Erica's gem, but the Game Corner boss is Giovanni, he's rock and ground type. Stuff that's weak against rock and ground has absolutely no synergy with stuff that's weak against grass. Or stuff that's good against grass, sorry. So, stuff that's good against... You know what I meant.
I think one more. If this isn't it, then we're just gonna have to call it here. And it's not. Well, shit. That's okay. We've already run long. And we got the Growlithe, which is what we really need. So, next time, we're gonna be doing a whole heck of a lot of stuff in Celadon City. Um, that will be Saturday. Depending on how things go, and depending on how Nick is feeling come Wednesday, we may be doing Never Been Played, or we may be doing another episode of Fallout 4. Um, entirely depends on how she's doing and how well she's recovering. Uh, so, until next time, guys, uh, let's quit to dust.